Hello, my name is Mr. Nelson. I teach some of the smartest, best looking kids in the whole world. I'm uh, six foot two, have a glowing personality and beard. I enjoy long runs on the beach, scuba climbing in the Ozarks. I'm uh, not filthy rich, but I do have a half dozen rolls of toilet paper or so. Uh, I think that's, that's the wrong paper. Okay, okay. Um, math lesson. Hey, we, uh, you already know how awesome you are and, um, how cool I am or think I am. And, um, I wanted to get us started on math for this week. So I'm going to show you, um, a little slideshow and we're going to go through it fairly quick. And then I'll do just a couple examples from the rounding work that we're going to do. And, um, if you have any questions, You'll email or uh, contact me in some way, and we'll get that figured out. Let's look at my screen here, though. The slideshow is going to look a little bit like this. And I'm already lost on my own computer. Can you believe that? Each day the slideshow um, will continue on the same one. I'm going to start with um, something goofy every morning. That's pretty standard practice for us. You um, have in your packet already a schedule of what your suggested hours of the day should be taken up by and um, you can choose to follow that or you guys can make your own schedule at home I have um, a meeting usually every morning from 8 to 9 and so my office hours will start at 9 and probably go to a little after 11 um, I just wrote some things under this slideshow, and I'll make this available in the Google Classroom as well, so you can read that. I won't read everything to you, but some of the important things that you need to know is that the um, the freckle that you've been doing already is um, up and running again at home. You can do fact practice if you want. Um, if you know you're a little weak in something, go ahead and, and do that practice. But the assignments... Um, that you work on there, you can work at your own pace. It's the dynamic learning, which means as you miss a problem, um, it takes you down to a little bit easier content. And if you do better, then it gets a little tougher as it goes along. Math minutes, I want you to do all those. It's a good way to stay up to date on what we've already learned this year and remember those things so that you don't slide back or forget things that we learned earlier in the year. Um, try all the problems. It's just 10 problems. You can do them all. It's sixth grade work. Uh, use a timer if you want, but you don't have to. Um, if you want, maybe uh, bring your dad in the room while you do math minutes and make dumb jokes. And that'll be a little bit more like what we regularly do. Um, you can do them all um, without taking a break because that's where you work on the fluency and the stamina. But if you need to, especially if you don't, if you've skipped some and come back to it later or after we ask questions, you can do that. Every Friday, we're going to, I'm going to post the answers to that and maybe uh, pick a few on each page that I think that you needed to look at and maybe review. And I'll go over that. Um, this is, um, this screen here is about the homework assignment. If you do anything, if you do nothing at all, um, that's bad. But if you only do the homework assignment, um, that's that's the bare minimum that I'd expect you to do. And I was thinking about that, um, what we'd have in the classroom. The uh, work that I expect out of you is just regular average sixth grade work. That's what I prepare for. But if you have some advanced sixth grade math skills um, in certain concepts, then go ahead and do a little extra work. If you need some, um, some things, you can look at that extra menu and you can go to some of those websites that will help you out. Freckle's going to give you the advanced stuff. If you're doing well on Freckle, then it's just going to keep boosting you up. Um, and you do want to do well on that because the data that's formed on that will be what we use um, 
for our end of the year information for making placements and, and just communicating with your next year teachers on how good a math student you are. Here's that weekly schedule for math I just did this week. Um, you do have in your packet both this week and next. Um, it stays on track with the math minute. You'll notice that next week, um, April 11th, I believe the date is, um, is Good Friday. So there won't be any school, so we haven't scheduled anything for you there. So on to the rounding stuff. This is just a quick refresher. If you need to come back to this slide and look at your place value, this is good. If you want to jot this down on a piece of paper, um, I would attempt... If we were in the classroom, I'd have you guys tell me this, and we'd write it up on the smart board together. We'd go back to it if we needed to. But um, if I was you, I would attempt to do this all on my own. You can, um, you're probably familiar with this part of the screen. But this part right here um, is the one that you've been working on since just, I think, fifth grade. Um, some of these other ones you, you, you looked at earlier, but fifth grade, you hit this stuff. And so this is really just kind of a, a review anyway. Um, here's our rounding rules. Uh, earlier in, in your rounding experience, you've heard this saying, five or above, give it a shove. And then here on the right is um, just something I stole off the internet that um, reminds you that if the number following the number you're looking at is a five through a nine then you boost that number up and if it's between one and four you boost it down remember this is all review so we're not going to spend a lot of time on that but there is this great little video that um, features a robot and shows you how to round decimal numbers here's your assignment for today um, i would suggest that um, if you're real confident that you um, don't have to do all of it, but um, this bottom part right here is pretty important. This is the, the real life part of the skill. Um, many of you, as you get into your careers after high school, uh, you'll use some of this from the top, but um, this is what everybody uses, is rounding uh, decimals in money. And um, we can see here that they give you a little example as well. Uh, but I can certainly help you more if you need it. Just email me and I'll record uh, a couple problems that I'm doing for you. Over here, um, if you don't want to do the whole assignment, you don't have to. There's a lot of problems. It looks like 66 problems. Um, some of you are confident and able to do that. Some of you can learn and demonstrate that you know the information in fewer, in fewer problems. Um, I would suggest, if we were in class that you do the um, column with the 23.94 and work that column down and skip every other column doing those um, so that you'd end up doing half the work on the top of the page and um, average sixth grade work I'd have you do all the bottom ones right um, if you want to do less problems because you're not confident that's okay but ask me to check it over and um, you can just send a picture and I'll look at it and say, hey, here's some things that you aren't really understanding. You're rounding to the um, tenths on the one that says round to the nearest 10. And that's a little tricky. In fact, look at the first one. If you have 0.658932 and you have to round to the nearest 10, that one's a little bit confusing. Um, it's, it's not close to 10 at all. Or 20 or 30 or anything it's actually closer to zero so zero is the answer that you'd put in there okay um, again this is review but if you if it's not fresh in your mind and you want to ask me for help I am available um, anytime you have questions uh, email or um, comment on the videos or things that that you're able to um, I will certainly help out as much as I can I probably won't get bored here at home, but um, that's one of those things that uh, I do for a living. I love doing this stuff, so I will certainly be there for you. Okay, unless uh, you have anything else, you can probably stop the video here. I do want to show you the tie for the day. Um, it's, it's 
It's got the uh, Winnie the Pooh crew, Piglet, Tigger, Pooh, and then Eeyore. Pretty, pretty classy. I know, I know, I know. Uh, one of these days, I'll show you, uh, give you a little tour of the office here. But right now, it's kind of a mess because I brought all this stuff home from school that I thought I'd need, and got back from the farm this weekend. So I've got, I've got to clean it up first. Okay. Um, again. Email if you have any questions, and um, we'll see you for the video tomorrow.